Hey everybody, welcome back. We are looking at today the titanium backspacer from Rockscale Designs from the original 537GY bailout from 2019 to see if this backspacer will fit in the brand new 537GY-1 aluminum scales. Now, if you watch my other video, link down in the description below, uh, you noticed all the specs were the same except for the weight. So, handle's the same, blade length's the same, shape, design, all that good stuff is the same. So the question comes in, how does this go? So, let's go ahead and put this off to the side. We're gonna have to take this clip off. So let's just do some work and tear this knife down real quick. We'll also get a sneak peek at what's inside these new aluminum scales, see if there's any milling and what they've done to the inside of them on this one to reduce weight, so. Let me know your thoughts down below if you want before you uh, watch the rest of this video if you think it'll fit or not. I guess once I get this clip out, let me give you a quick preview and you guys let me know. So here's the backspacer. It's a pommel delete backspacer. So uh, let's see, let's do the side that has the pivot that we can take out. So we'll take out this screw at the top. And these screws are all gonna be the same size. These are a Torx 6, a T6 head on them. So you're able to remove them all, not worry too much which position they were in. They're all the same size, same length. But anyways, uh, the response has been pretty interesting to see. Uh, most of you guys like this new design, I think the price is a little hard to swallow with the Super Freak being out there. But the majority of you guys like the knife and like the design, so I'm keeping up on the comments, but I haven't been responding to them yet because I've been uh, making some videos, so. Get some comments added there here in a little bit for you guys. But anyways, let's get the T10 now for the pivot. And uh, shout out to Wee uh, Weehaw for making this little set here so picked it up online and been using it for quite a while works great this pivot will come out it'll give us an inside look at what's inside this 537 GY-1 now these are anodized aluminum scales they said it's a woodland green color with a little bit of milling so you can see some texturing on there let's see what the inside looks like Definitely have some oil in there, so operate smoothly. Some oil down here by the pivot, or no, I'm sorry, not the pivot, the pommel, the glass breaker. You can see the milling for the half liners. The milling continues all the way down the rest of the scale, helps reduce weight. And there's an inside look at what we'll do. So anyways, give this a spin here and see how it looks. I'll be right back. Okay. So we're looking at this. Now the, to get the last two parts of this pommel off, we do have to take this one last screw out on the other side of the scale, which holds it in. It looks like there's two pieces, so one's probably embedded inside right here without a screw, and then the other one looks like it has the screw there. So we'll take this one out, and we'll see how it fits. So here's your aluminum pommel glass breaker. And let's see how this measures up. Oh, we got to take out the barrel spacer too. Forgot about that part. So we'll take apart the barrel spacer. Barrel spacer's out now. Now we'll see how it works. So this is a full replacement. You won't, won't need your barrel spacer or your pommel anymore. This is a back titanium backspacer replacement from Rockscale Designs. It does fit within those holes, as you can see right through the both of them. There is, let's see here. This is the geared one, so it will sit a smidge above, as you can see, but there's a little bit where this is milled out 
it's a little bit bigger than what the milling is on this one, on this piece. So I think what he'll have to do is just update that a little tiny bit, make it a little bit wider, but you can see it just moves just a little tiny bit, but it's still recessed down in there and it sits flush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna secure this back middle one and then I'm gonna see how we can secure the other one where the barrel spacer used to be and see if it uh, locks in. And if it does, then all your other ones are definitely 100% usable. And I'm sure then he'll uh, do a little bit more of a change just so they'll match up and be 100% flush. But these are threaded. Yep, 100%. So locks up solid, no movement at all. Uh, you're good to go. So as you can see, let's put this back together really quick. There we go. So here's what it looks like. This is one of the uh, standard titanium, kind of the brushed look. I think it looks nice with it. I think a black one would look really nice. So let me finish putting it together the rest of the way. We'll look at a completed version real quick. But yeah, so if it's one of those things that that's what was keeping you from, Granted, you would have to buy an extra part to delete that pommel with the glass breaker, but it would make it, for me, it makes it more of an EDC knife, you know? Solid aluminum scales, M4 coated blade steel, but I'm not gonna have the, uh, the pommel with the glass breaker poking me in the hand or anything. You know, at work, it's great. It works great for being at work, um, especially, you know, if you're out and about or on, always taking on trips and stuff and you have to uh, use it in a scenario where you need your window out, car crash or something, help rescue somebody, it's always good. So put the pivot back in real loosely. We'll put the pocket clip on just so you can see a full look of it. But let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if this is something that uh, makes you more inclined to buy it. Now granted, you'd have to spend a, a few more dollars with rock scale. Or, you know, maybe it's something that uh, manufacturers would start including, you know? Be like, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna include a backspacer swap out so you can, you know, do, what, do whichever you like. But they probably don't want you taking apart your knife that much. Let's see here. Why is that not going in? Probably didn't line it up here. Nope, there we go. Okay. All right. So there's your finished product. Looks snazzy. I mean, he has some anodized ones. To me, it changes the overall look of the knife and function of the knife. Put that stuff off to the side. Gives it a little more color pop, a little you know, contrast if you use a lighter color. I might, I might get a black one, we'll see. Black or gray seems to work pretty good. Now you've seen the other one I have with the color shift scales from Rock Scale and the flat backspacer, that one's gonna work as well. They're all the same size. I did have Tom Veff do the serrations on this one and do the drop point blade to the, you know, he basically did a regrind from the Tonto to the clip point. So all sorts of things you can get into with these knives, which is pretty great. It's so awesome that people do all the, you know, aftermarket stuff. But compared also, just so you guys can see, um, Here's, you know, just a standard bug out. This is the blacked out one from Blade HQ. Size difference, no pommel. Both have the geared backspacer. Anyways, uh, my buddy Adrian in Australia did the titanium anodized thumb studs on that one in blue. Uh, I'll link his stuff down below as well. But anyways, all great stuff that you can do. I highly recommend doing this if the 
glass breaker is not your thing, but yeah. Anyways, good to see that it fits and it's usable and it's functional and it locks in there, but it's got a little bit of movement like I showed you, but it's something that's not gonna affect it once you screw it down because it all fits in that hole. And I know that uh, Rockscale will come out with a, one specific for it, but in case you have one on your other and you wanna you know, make this one your EDC, then there you go. Anyways, hope this was helpful. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the link down below. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you get uh, aware of any live streams I'm doing, giveaways. You guys do something kind and take care.